The music for Duo Concertant was composed uh, by Stravinsky uh, in the beginning of the 1930s. Francisco, our company pianist, gives us a lot of really incredible insights into how to navigate this difficult piece of music. And he'll give us insights in terms of what to listen to within the score, in terms of the downbeat or the melody, or different sort of markers within the music that allow us to kind of not get lost, because it's very easy in this music to think that multiple moments in the music are one, or are downbeat, which is when we should start. And it's sort of like a it's a trick because you think it's going to start a new phrase and it doesn't. It, it begins later on or a little bit prematurely. And there's even moments where George Balanchine choreographed sort of stillness where the dancers are just standing at the piano watching them play. That gives the audience time to sort of become familiar with the music that they're listening to and appreciate the beauty of that aspect of the live performance. Duo, in this case, could mean several things. Concertant in music, meaning several soloists. So you have two dancers, two musicians, joining together on stage, and you have the greatest composer of the 20th century and the greatest choreographer. And that's why I love to a concertant, and that's why I think everybody should come see it.